I'm Anna Sprafico. I'm a medical oncologist and a clinician investigator at Princess Margaret Cancer Center. So HN9 is a cooperative, a Canadian cooperative initiative. Uh, this is a, a randomized multi-center phase two study of uh, chemo radiotherapy versus immunoradiotherapy with a component of uh, adjuvant immunotherapy in a specific uh, subpopulation of patients with head and neck cancer. Another importance of the HN9 study is that we have built a series of correlative study. Those studies have been um, uh, very carefully designed to answer specific question. And this question goes from, uh, are the patients uh, tolerating this treatment better? Uh, are they living better? Uh, do they have less toxicity? Also, we are investigating the role of the oral and intestinal microbiome in this type of uh, cancer, but also in relationship to the treatment. In addition to that, we're investigating raniomic analysis, we're doing circulating tumor DNA and immunophenotyping to evaluate what are the uh, mechanisms of responsiveness to the treatment in this patient population. The uh, information that will arise from the HN9 will be very important and uh, in, in addition to answer the specific questions that uh, we have uh, asked when we designed the uh, HN9 study, I think HN9 will serve as a backbone to develop a future, future clinical um, uh, research question. Well, obviously, designing and conducting a clinical trial within a cooperative group is crucial for the success of the trial, especially uh, with the new trials. Uh, these new trials are uh, tailored to a specific patient population or specific molecular profiling, and it is uh, uh, very difficult to run it as an independent uh, um, centers. The uh, cooperative group unite and support and engage the interest of many physicians and researchers across the country and beyond the country and allowed uh, patients who, who don't have access to the large center to have this treatment opportunity and contribute to the cancer research.